I had to deal with costal chondritis for about two years. I had extreme pain in my left area, the ribs. Also, my, my left pectoral region was very swollen. Um, I was in constant pain every day, agony. I couldn't even get out of bed. I ended up having to go to the ER multiple times where I thought I was having like a heart attack, but it wasn't that. Um, they ended up putting me on um, opiates, uh, medication um, for extreme pain, but it didn't really do anything to help me. When the pain got so bad, I wasn't able to move because everything was in pain, everything was swollen. My girlfriend actually had to help me eat every day. And eventually it started affecting my nerves and my sciatic nerve. And it got to the point where I started getting pain in my groin. And it got so bad that I couldn't even walk anymore. I ended up having to use a wheelchair. Okay, got it. But it feels like like it's like right where the line is. Right where the line is, got it. How would you yeah. describe that? Is it a sharp? Um, it feels like a... It feels like a strain, like a, like a strain. My doctor did refer me to physical therapy, although it didn't help as much because I was only able to do like once a week and they weren't able to target the areas that I needed, as well as massages, acupuncture. I even tried to see nerve doctors that specialize in this area. He basically just kind of gave up and he said that there is something he could do for me after that point. And we felt very lost and we didn't know what to do because this person specialized in nerve pain and nerve issues things like osteochondritis. He wasn't able to help me. He even tried to do a thing called the PRP injection. They did that a couple times and it did help for a little bit, but it just went back to the same old thing. I had just finished nursing school for registered nursing and it was kind of like a blow to my whole life because I did get my license, but I wasn't able to work anymore. I wasn't able to walk. I wasn't even able to use my left arm. I couldn't even flex my hand because I was in so much pain. I basically got like my whole life taken away from me. It even got to the point where we had to use a bedside commode in my room where that's where I would use the restroom because I was in so much pain I couldn't bear weight. Um, I couldn't exercise anymore. I ended up gaining a lot of weight because of the steroids that the doctors put me on. And actually I was on steroids for about three months, whereas usually people will be on that for about a week. And I thought I was gonna start working as a nurse, wasn't able to do that. And I wasn't able to do pretty much anything I was just stuck in my room for a couple of years. I ended up finding um, Dr. Taylor. I started getting the pressure wave therapy and that actually helped a lot. The laser therapy helped me out a lot as well. I could actually feel the relief from having just a couple sessions. I was actually able to notice the swelling go down. The PMF helped a lot as well. As the weeks went on, I could really see the progress. And actually I went from being in the wheelchair to being able to actually use the wheelchair as a walker which was pretty cool. And I was eager to show the staff as well that and to show them my improvement. And eventually I was able to get to the point where I could walk again and I am able to use my hand again, which is great. I'm able to flex it. It's, it's amazing. I, there's times where I never thought I'd be able to like pick up a cup again. Right now I am starting to work out again. Starting, I started swimming. I'm actually in the process of making my resume to apply for my first uh, job as an RN. I wouldn't have been able to do it without Taylor Chiropractic and you know their staff and Dr. Hudson. It's been really like a lifesaver. We go through these things for a reason and I think that I can provide a good testimony to others who have gone through something similar and just know that there is help out there for you.